So they will send the teams to their benches and the officials will have a conversation first and then I would guess they'd go to the monitor to see what the discipline will be here. But you saw Cardozo at the very end. Here's the beginning. McDaniel with the foul. So this is just basketball. And Myers and McDaniel. And McDaniel doing a lot of talking. Cook comes in. Still, it's just talking, though, until the very end, I think, you see Cardozo with a little shove. So here it's mostly still talking. It's a very strong talking. Yeah, not pleasantries. <laughs> and then the shove there. So the officials are at the monitor right now. Talk, talk, and then... Cook comes in. Cardoso was trying to pull her teammate away, and then Cardoso yeah. with the shove on Cook. That's the only piece I think is like a little extra. I mean, it's all a little bit extra talking, but in terms of the physical nature of it, there's no pushing or shoving until the very end. Now, I didn't see anything in real time called here. I just saw the officials separating. Yeah, I think I thought the point the was end. for yeah. Cardoso, but I could be mistaken, but I thought that he was saying. Yeah. Michael McConnell. You can issue a number of technical fouls here. You could see McDaniel and Fletcher getting the technicals for the heated argument, then right yeah. here, the point. Yeah, and then the go. Also. So all three officials, Alicia Grittner, McConnell, Cameron Inoue, are at the monitor right now. And we'll see what the penalty is. How about the delay? Because the official standing right there still has to put the whistle in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta blow the whistle before I toss you. Well, it's a little bit of a change. It's not like a whistle under a mask like we were doing not right. too long ago. Or... We'll see what, uh... I mean, this has been a hard fought. A hard fought game. In the end, it wasn't a lot. It was a shove by Cardoso to push the freshman Cook away. It wasn't anything with a closed fist. It was just, you know, get away from my player, stop this, and that's going to be enough to probably put Maryland to the free throw line here. We'll see what they work out. They are still at the monitor and going through it. Abby Myers goes to her teammate trying to break things up. I mean, Cook coming in to break it up wasn't getting too physical. You could have a number of technical yeah, when they've here. got When they've got the pen out and paper out, um, <laughs> we've got to keep track of some things. They're giving them bigger paper. They just yeah. hand, they, they hand, the oh, official no. had a small piece the, of paper. They just handed them a big piece of paper. We've got a legal paper. pad out now. This could take a while. Are we allowed to make light of this or not? <laughs> well, too late. I think <laughs> I did. I, I think what may be happening here is there's being a transcription because we're not going to hear from the officials with this setup. And if I had to guess, I'm going to guess that Mike McConnell's given, been given a copy to come over and tell you what's being called here. Yes, here he comes. So, Rebecca. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, we have a double technical foul. Offsetting for Maryland and South Carolina. Dead ball intentional foul on Cardoso for South Carolina. Maryland with two free throw attempts. So the offset for the argument and then the extra for Cardoso. And again, it was an intentional foul, not a disqualifying foul, which... With the old flagrant one. Now Dawn Staley is upset 